Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I watched during the month of March, so stick around. So today I wanted to take time to go over all of the films that I watched during the month of March. I was able to see some in the theater, some on streaming, and then the majority of these were on physical media. Um, I was not able to see one every single day during the month of March. I did miss three days. Um, two of those days I was on a trip to Tennessee, and the third day I came home sick from work. I, I worked my whole shift that whole day, but by the time I got home I was feeling terrible and I just went right to bed. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be going off of my letterbox account if you'd like to follow along with me. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please think about subscribing and hitting that notification bell if you like to hear things about physical media and films. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on uh, March the 3rd. I watched Searching for Bobby Fischer. This right here is one that I watched at the Airbnb. Um, I actually watched this one with Tim Talks Talkies. Really enjoyed it. It had been a long time since I had seen it. I gave that one three stars and a heart. Um, the next one that I watched was Rope. I had never seen Rope before. Um, it's one of the um, Alfred Hitchcock films that I had never seen. I wanted to check it out. I finally opened it up and watched it. I really enjoyed it. I gave this one three and a half stars and a heart. Highly recommend you check it out. The next two films that I saw, um, I watched on streaming. I watched them. I watched them on YouTube. And the first one was Against a Crooked Sky. The last time I had seen this one was back in 1975 when I was a kid. I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. I had a lot of fond memories of it. Really enjoyed it. It is like a little um, family western. And the next film that I watched was called Seven Alone. It came out in 1974. I remember seeing that one in the theater also. I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. Like I said, a lot of fond memories. It's a family western. I um, highly recommend you check those out if you like those classic. Almost has like a Disney feel to it, but really enjoyed it. Okay, the next film that I watched um, was Hostels. First time I had ever seen this one before. I gave this one three stars and a heart. Really enjoyed it. It's another Western, of course. Uh, a little slower paced, um, but it had some really good, um, had a really good storyline and really enjoyed the performances. Okay, the next film that I watched was Southern Comfort. Um, I gave this one three stars and a heart. I had never seen this one before. It, um, really enjoyed it. Um, I really just wanted to check it out. I had never seen it before, and I would definitely recommend you check it out. Um, the next one that I watched, I only gave two stars and no heart. I really didn't care much for this one, but I did pick up the Criterion release for this film here. I believe it's also called The Swimming Pool. Um, but just could not connect with it. Didn't really enjoy that one. Okay, the next one that I watched was Total Recall, the reboot. Um, I gave this one two stars and a heart. I did enjoy the film for what it was. Um, very action-oriented. A lot of things going on in the film. Really kind of hard to keep up with at times. Very fast-paced, but definitely enjoyed this one. Okay, the next one I watched was called The Brave One. It got one star, no heart. I really just did not care for this movie at all. Um, I don't know. It just wasn't... It, I just couldn't connect to it. I just did not enjoy it. Um, so that's... I don't have really much more to say about that one. Um, the next movie that I watched was another streaming movie. It's called Snack Shack. And I gave it two stars and a heart. Um, it is a coming-of-age story about these two um, teenagers who are running a snack shack trying to make some money um i i enjoyed it overall it had some um it had a lot of things going with it though that i didn't really care for um but if you do have the opportunity to see snack shack um, i would recommend you check it out and if it does come on physical media i definitely will be picking that one up okay the next one that i watched was last flag flying I gave this one star and a heart, which sounds kind of odd, but overall I think it was a good story, just really long and drawn out, um, and I don't know, I, did, it was, I just had a hard time with it, but overall I did enjoy the film, I thought it had some great performances. The next film that I saw was American Pastoral, I gave this one star and no heart, I did not care for this film. I had high hopes for it. It has Ewan McGregor in it. He is um, the one that directed this one. I think this was his first directorial debut. 
and I don't know, I just couldn't connect with it. I didn't really care much for that one. Okay, the next film that I watched was Cellular. I gave this one three stars and a heart. Really enjoyed this one. I had never seen this one before. Um, very action-packed. I enjoyed the performances. Kim Basinger really gave a great performance in this one. Um, definitely check that out if you've never seen it. Okay, the next film that I saw was Irreversible. Um, I gave this one three stars and a heart. I had never seen this one before. Really enjoyed the storyline, the way that they told it. Had a lot of fight scenes, a lot of um, gore, um, some really heavy subject matter. Um, so go, in, go into it if you've never seen it, knowing that there's some really heavy stuff going on in this film. Okay, next up I watched Mayhem. This right here was a first time watch for me. I gave this one two stars and a heart. I enjoyed it overall. Um, had some good fight sequences, some gore, but just a little bit too, um, I don't know, the story just kind of drug in places. Um, but other than that, I think it was really good. Okay, the next one that I watched from A24 is Dream Scenario, um, starring Nicolas Cage. I really enjoyed this one. I gave that one three... I gave I gave Dream Scenario two stars and two and a half stars and a heart. Um, pretty interesting story. Um, very well acted. Very unusual, kind of odd, but still enjoyed it. And speaking of odd, the next one that I watched was Odd Thomas. I gave Odd Thomas three and a half stars and a heart. I had seen this one time before, but didn't really remember much about it, and just really enjoyed this one. If you've never seen Odd Thomas. Um, definitely check it out. It was, it was a wonderful little film. I really enjoyed that one. Okay, next up I watched Mine. Mine I got two, gave two and a half stars and a heart. This right here was another first time watch. Really good story. It um, A little bit drug out, but overall just enjoyable. Um, so happy to have that one and been able to watch it. Okay, next up was a streaming movie that I watched, and that was the Roadhouse movie with Jake Gyllenhaal. And I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. I enjoyed it for what it was. Of course, it did not live up to the original Roadhouse, but for what it was, I thought it was an enjoyable watch. I, I did enjoy that one. The next film I watched was me and my wife went and saw Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I gave it three stars and a heart. Really enjoyed seeing that one in the theater. Um, if you have a chance to see that one, I would definitely recommend you see it in the movie theater. Um, but it was a nice little continuation from the last story. Um, so definitely check out Ghostbusters um, Frozen Empire. Okay, the next film that I watched was Touch of Evil. I gave this one three stars and a heart. First time watch. Enjoyed that one. It was a bit long. Um, but overall, if you like a film noir type um, film, this right here is one that you should definitely check out. Um, next up, I watched Domestic Disturbance. I gave that one three stars and a heart. Really enjoyed this one. I don't believe I had ever seen this one before. Great performances, great storyline. Um, really enjoyed that one. Highly recommend it. Next up, I watched Anaconda for the first time. I gave it one star, no heart. I didn't really care much for this film. Um, so I, I had higher hopes for it. Next up, I watched Hollow Man. I gave this one three stars and a heart. I really love this story. I thought all the actors did a great job. It kept me entertained, um, suspenseful. Um, highly recommend you check out Hollow Man if you've never seen it. Okay, the next film that I watched was in the theater. I watched Love Lies Bleeding. I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. Really enjoyed it. It's got a thriller type aspect about it. And overall, I thought it was kind of a quirky thriller. Um, definitely check it out. I, I do um, plan on picking that one up when it comes out on physical media. Okay, next up I watched Dune. Dune I gave three stars and a heart. I wanted to see this one before I went and saw Dune Part 2. Kind of refresh my memory, which I'm very happy that I did. Um, this one here was a slow, a slow one, um, but overall I enjoyed it. And I was really looking forward to what was going to happen next. So definitely check out Dune if you've never seen it. And um, we'll talk about Dune 2 here shortly. Next up I watched Bones and All. This right here was a first time watch. I gave that two and a half stars and a heart. I really enjoyed Bones and All. Very good story. Didn't know anything about it going into it. And um, just a really good um, kind of love story with a twist. So definitely check that one out. So the last film that I watched 
for the month of March was in the movie theater. I went and saw Dune Part 2. I gave it four stars in a heart. I really loved that film. A nice continuation from the first one. The first one I kind of felt a little bit let down at the end. I wanted to see more. So we had to wait a few years to be able to see Part 2. And it was definitely worth the wait. If you haven't seen Dune Part 2, definitely check that one out in the theater if you're able to. But those are all of the films that I was able to watch during the month of March. Hopefully you were able to see a lot of films also. Please leave me a comment below and let me know the films that you were able to see. And also give me some suggestions of films that you think I should check out here in the month of April. Because I really do enjoy reading your comments. But I thank you for taking your time to watch this um, video. And we will see you next time.